doing something called low impact. That's and what we call it. That's what we call it, right. And we were initially inspired to do this a couple of years ago um, for a couple of reasons. So, like, probably a lot of you um, can um, associate with, we are into environmental issues and trying to live a sustainable life and trying to, you know, be conscious of how our actions impact the environment. Um, but being Americans and living in rural America and doing certain things in our lives, we are very consumer oriented in many ways. And so even though a lot of our ideas about how to live in the world and how to be in our space were oriented around sustainability and environmentalism, there were still lots of things that we were doing that weren't very green and weren't very sustainable. And that was, you know, just eating at our conscious a little bit. You know, and there are a million examples of this. Um, just one of them is taking your reusable bags to the grocery store and coming out with a bag full of packaging, you know, so you have the bags, but then everything else in there is wrapped in stuff, you know, so it's just thinking, oh, come on, I can do better than this, but, you know, not really knowing how to do that, and um, a couple summers ago, we just happened to be wandering through a bookstore, and we saw a book called No Impact Man, and it's all based on this man's idea. It wasn't our idea initially, but we're just going to say a bit about how we sort of, uh, re you know, refitted it to work for our lives. Um, and it was written by a guy named Colin Beaven, and they now made a movie about his book also, which is really fun to watch if you're interested in this. And we're happy to lend the book to anyone who wants to um, borrow it. They might have a library, I'm not sure. Um, basically, he and his wife and their two-year-old daughter living in Manhattan decided over the course of a year to phase out their dependence on carbon entirely, and not through offsets. So they decided to try over a period of a year to just reduce their carbon impact and the amount of carbon emissions they were um, producing, and to keep a diary of that and a record of that, and that's what turned into the book. And so um, they initially started by just cutting out electricity, you know, not using elevators when they would go places, riding a bike everywhere, trying to cut down on fossil fuels, eating locally in their, you know, 100 mile radius. Um, and then they slowly they took the television out, they took the refrigerator out, you know, they took the lights out, they cut all those things out. And they just told a story of what that was like for their family and of what it meant for their daughter's life and their life and their life in the community. And um, we found their story really inspiring. and fun and funny at times and so we thought oh we can do this yeah we can yeah, we can do that it was a little bit fun so we decided to adapt that story to our life in rural indiana and and i would say oh because we don't live in goshen we live southeast of here in mary lee at, near mary lee and so just kind of similar to the book he makes the point all the way through this book that the purpose of this is not to really say that everyone should just reduce their carbon footprint to zero, right? The purpose is to try to evaluate your life and be more mindful of what you do use and what you need and what's just a habit and what, you know, could probably be cut out and what in your space you can, you can change and what in your space you maybe can't change and to just be more mindful about what those things are. 